Backyard Brains brings you recording the EMGs in your muscles during fatigue. For this experiment, you need an EMG spiker box, a hand strengthener, possibly a hand dynamometer, and some dumbbells or similar weights. To begin, put the EMG electrodes on your forearm and squeeze the hand grip while simultaneously recording your EMG signal. As you lose strength, the EMG amplitude and firing rate also diminishes. If you have access to a hand dynamometer, you can simultaneously measure the force output of your grip as well as your EMG signal. If you squeeze the tool for as hard as you can for as long as you can, you will notice the force output decrease as well as changes in the EMG signal itself. You can then plot the EMG signal in your data analysis program of choice and notice these effects. Can you figure out a way to measure the firing rate as well? Now let's measure bicep muscle fatigue during an isometric contraction task where you hold your arm at a 90 degree angle with your back against the wall to maintain posture. Note that you do not want to hold the dumbbell in your hand as your wrist muscles will fatigue faster than your bicep. Instead, devise a way to hang weights directly off your forearm. Put the electrodes on your bicep as you've done before and start the recording. Though not as obvious as the hand grip tasks, you will still notice a decrease in the EMG signal over time as your bicep becomes fatigued. The physiology of muscle fatigue is still very much an active research topic, and these experiments are only the beginning just to get you started. Perhaps you can do more sophisticated data analysis on your EMG signals, or try recording from different muscle groups to determine different fatigue times and also different characteristics of the fatigue in the EMG signal. What can you discover? Backyard Brains, neuroscience for everyone.